1914. It's a model 35-4. Um, it come out of Harrah's collection. Uh, Let's get in over Nevada. there in front of it. Stand in front of it here? Yeah. Um, Show the car off. Should I just keep going? Just or keep start? going. Um, We're pretty casual here. Like I say, it come out of Harris Collection, and it was sold to a gentleman in California, and then it went to a Kirksville bank and sat for like 15, 16 years in the mm. lobby. And the reason they had it is because they bought a car in 1914. I mean, they started the bank in 1914. Mm. And they wanted a model for uh, a year of a car. Sure. And that's what they picked up, and they had it sitting. And I've been hunting for this car for years because it's a bigger horsepower car, and we didn't know where it was. And I found it on eBay. The bank was selling it. So I ended up picked it up, I guess, four years ago. It wasn't running and all that. Mm -hmm. and got it back and running mm -hmm. condition. I run a restoration business. For my, that's what I do for a living. Whereabouts? Uh, Belleville, Illinois. Okay. Which is 17 miles east of St. Louis. Okay, and your name is? Uh, Rick Quirin. Rick Quirin, okay. Well, Rick. And uh, I got four cars that I have worked on up here today, so I'm hoping they. They all keep going all and keep you don't going. have to break out those wrenches. I understand uh, that. It makes it look better if it, they Absolutely. stay together, too. Gotcha, gotcha. And I'm up here with my wife and she loves it, so that's all that counts. There you go, there you go. Well, thank, thank you. Thank you.